Well, some new revelations in the case of the overnight Newport mansion arson. The suspect appearing in court this afternoon accused of setting fire to the Cary mansion among a string of other felonies. 12 News reporter Jake Holter is live in Newport right now. Jake, what can you tell us? Well, Kim and Kayla, in court today, we learned it was actually four separate fires that were started in the basement of the Cary Mansion. The city fire, fire marshal saying that there was evidence of arson after the fires were put out. Shortly after midnight Wednesday, Newport police and fire responded to a fire at the Cary Mansion, also known as Seaview Terrace. At the same time, police also responding to a carjacking here on Bellevue Avenue, right down the road from the mansion. In court Wednesday afternoon, authorities say 25 year old Foster Krupa of Newport threatened a 20 year old woman with a piece of a spear gun before taking off with her car. He then allegedly crashed it near the intersection of Wickham and Breton Roads. That's when police tried to apprehend him. When they tried to take him into custody, he reached for a butane torch, which is believed to have been used to set the fires. The defendant then struggled with law enforcement uh, engaging that butane torch, lighting it pointing it in the direction of law enforcement officers. Police said two officers were injured while trying to arrest Krupa. We spoke with a neighbor on scene who says the mansion it used to be in her family. Well, my grandmother bought it in 1949, seven, eight oceanfront acres and the 53 room uh, house for $25,000. And uh, she ran an, a summer school for the arts. The mansion is still privately owned and Newport's fifth largest estate. It was moved from Washington, D.C. to Newport in 1923 and has been featured on TV shows and also once a boys dorm at Salve Regina University. I really hope that the building wasn't seriously damaged. Krupa is charged with several felonies, including arson, robbery, breaking and entering, larceny and two counts of felony assault. And Krupa also faces a string of misdemeanors for a total of 16 counts. No plea was entered and he is being held without bail. Reporting live in Newport, Jake Holter, 12 News.